to be sitting here today, it's God, it's God. Kenny Payne believes it's divine intervention. The 55-year-old's first career head coaching job is at his alma mater. It sees him as the perfect guy to unify a fractured fan base. What is Kenny Payne's legacy? What is he trying to leave behind over the next 10, 15, 20 years? Great, great question. Um, that's a heavy responsibility. Um, I'm sitting in this seat as the first African-American head coach. I'm sitting in this seat as a person that played here. That pressure, that responsibility to take this program and, and to another level, um, it's a lot. Payne's success comes from successful relationship building with a heart as big as they come, and almost everyone responds to it. I'll say this to you, uh, Fred, that when you embrace someone else's dream, truly embrace it, and they know that you're embracing it, there's a love there. Payne does not sugarcoat the challenges ahead. He is building Louisville basketball for the big picture, and there are no shortcuts to his vision of the Cards' future he sees. I know it won't be year one. I know it won't be year two, maybe. Uh, but somewhere after that, I want to see a change. Payne sees the Cards regularly competing for national championships, like when he played for Louisville's 1986 national title team. For him, it's not a matter of if, but when. I want it to be successful, and I want to be humble at the same time. I don't want to sit here and, and make it just about me. I want it to be about everybody. And if I can do that, that would be a great legacy. A legacy that goes beyond basketball to the people it produces.